everyone, it's Alexandra from Maker Forte here at scrapbook.com and today I want to share with you about marshmallow paste. Now, I don't mean making s'mores in the craft room, as yummy as that sounds, I mean adding a pop of marshmallow puff to your paper crafting projects. Whether you are a mixed media artist, you do altered collage, or maybe it's just snow at Christmas. We can do all of that with some marshmallow paste and there are tons of ways to use it. A little bit of this really will go a long way. It's jet puffed, super strong and it comes in a jar like so. You see it comes out like a little bit thick. You can kind of see the texture of it and I'm just gonna wipe it off here so you can see. And the first way you can use it is just say you want to add a little bit of a snow tip to a mountain you're doing. Literally take a paintbrush. Now it does say paste, but I'm gonna recommend you use a paintbrush because as I said, it's jet puffed a little bit. Goes a really long way. I'm kind of trying to paint a mountain, but you kind of see the idea I'm going with. And I'm gonna use my heat gun to jet puff it. So I'm gonna turn on my heat gun. And this is the fun part of marshmallow paste is because you can decide when you want to stop. So you see there, I just have a little bit of puff. I can stop right there or I can keep going and you see it keeps puffing and puffing and puffing. So you really can control whether you want what I call that popcorn ceiling effect or you want that jet puffed effect onto your card. You're never gonna let it just uh, solidify. Um, if you want to, you can put a little spritz of hairspray over the top and that will keep all of those fibers together. Another way you can use it is you can stamp with it. So if you use one of our splatter stamps, you can take, I like to take a little bit of a spatula and just kind of run it over. The other way you can do it is to just put some down on your craft mat like this, stamp into it and then stamp onto your project. And you see it kind of gives you a bit more of a random effect. It's like random snow falling or sea foam going up. Same thing, just grab your heat gun, pop it on. You can use it through a stencil. I'm still gonna say recommend that you go with it and use a paintbrush through a stencil rather than a spatula. Because if you go for a spatula full, it is gonna puff and puff and puff and you're gonna be going for days. One other idea, do you love making shaker cards? I do at Christmas, so, you know, like the snow falling kind of shaker cards. How about we make our own snow to go in the shaker? So just take a little bit of marshmallow paste, again, a little bit goes a long way, you can always make more, and you can color this. If you add alcohol ink, kaleidoscope powder, re-inker to this, whether you add the color before you puff it or after you puff it is gonna give you a different effect. You can use all your distress sprays, all those kinds of things, so lots of fun. But I like to then just heat it on my Teflon mat till it becomes marshmallow. And you can see all of that amazing fuzz coming up. And this time you actually do want to heat it quite a lot. We want lots of that puff to come up. And you see it just kind of starts to really puff, 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 puff. And it will naturally start to pull itself apart all of this, I would let it dry a little bit, but once you're done, you just take your spatula, go underneath, and you either have basically like a marshmallow paper, or I like to just crumple it up, and then I create my own shaker cards with falling snow with all of this kind of fun thing. Once it's dry, it's completely solid, and you can go off and have tons of fun with it. So go on, create some marshmallow jet puffed effects on your next paper crafting project.